You struggle to get off the bed. You definitely don't want to do the dishes. Making coffee is easy, but kind of feels like a lot of work. And you're surely skipping the morning yoga. And if you could, you would just skip the whole day and go back to bed. Or sit on the couch and watch your favorite TV show. To an observer, you're being quite lazy. But is that truly what's happening here? And if the result is the same, what does it matter if it's laziness or burnout? Because it's going to change how you talk to yourself. It's going to change how you treat yourself. And more importantly, understanding the difference between laziness and burnout is going to help you heal from the burnout. So, let's talk about it. When you're lazy, you enjoy doing the bare minimum. You cherish your leisure time. And you often seek the easiest way out in all aspects of your life. Burnt out people suffer. They either feel shitty about themselves for doing nothing, they blame themselves for only doing the bare minimum, or they feel nothing. Burnout is often experienced as numbness, as if you are a witness in your own life. You can see yourself going through the motion, but it is as if you're an autopilot. Burnout is associated with the experience of depersonalization. This is like being a ghost in your own life. You see yourself doing things and going through life, but you don't feel connected to those actions. Lazy people feel good about themselves. They enjoy doing nothing and they have been like this their entire life. Burnout is when you easily get tired, but it's not just physical, it's also the emotional and cognitive exhaustion. Burnout is a consequence of you being under stress for a long period of time and finally reaching a threshold where you can no longer go and you crash and you feel like crap. In that sense, burnout is a change. You used to be productive, not anymore. You used to do a lot of things, now you can't. Laziness is not about change. On the contrary, it's about a character trait, and those tend to be very consistent. If you're a lazy person, you have never been very productive. You have never enjoyed doing a lot of things. You have always been quite happy doing less. And being lazy doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It could mean that you're genuinely enjoying a laid-back life more or that you have never really believed in yourself that you can do much and in order not to disappoint yourself, you're just doing the bare minimum, you're content with that and again, nothing bad, nothing wrong. But whatever the reason for your laziness is, it is still a choice. Burnout is not a choice, it's your body forcing you to stop and people who experience it oftentimes hate themselves for that because they wish they could keep going. Burnout is not a choice. It's suffering. You feel helplessness and inability to take actions, but you wish you could. Being lazy is, I'm not in the mood to clean my room. I have so much more fun playing my video game. Burnout is, I cannot move. I cannot make myself clean the house. I may be playing video games, but it's not like I'm enjoying it. It's just that it takes less effort and less energy, and it's all I can do right now. And to be honest, I'm just trying to survive the day. That's burnout. Lazy people are carefree. They're actually happy or easily content. No bother in the world. You never feel good about yourself when you burn out. Lazy people are passionate about their own hobbies. They're excited in doing their own thing, but lazy when it comes to labor, responsibilities, other people. Labor is no fun, but pleasure sure is. And they are capable of feeling that pleasure. Burnout is when you used to be passionate, but you don't feel it anymore. Burnout is losing interest in your hobbies. And in that sense, it sounds close to depression or for people with ADHD to task paralysis. But we're going to talk about this in a minute. Lazy people don't feel guilty for doing nothing because it's a choice and they choose it because they prefer it. And because laziness is a state, they don't really have a change. In that sense, they don't compare themselves with how they used to be because they have never used to be much different. There might be some comparison, but it will be me versus the other person. As a lazy person, I may look at somebody who is very productive, very ambitious, and I might think... Mm, with a bit of criticism, they're overdoing it. They're working hard, not smart. For a lazy person, very productive people are kind of lame because they don't know how to play the game better. The goal for a lazy person is to do as little as possible because if they could, they would do nothing and they will be content with that. 
Being burned out oftentimes means that you're moody and irritable, and this is because you're in pain. But because you hurt on the inside, the people around you don't see those wounds, so they think you're lazy. And you also start to think that you're lazy. But think about this. When you're physically sick and you have, let's say, a terrible headache and everything around you bothers you, then you can point out the reason. I have a headache. But with burnout, it's difficult to point out the reason. So your experience is open to interpretation. And if you are the type of person who used to be very productive and enjoy doing a lot of things, then that type of person is very critical usually of inactivity and laziness. So now when you are incapable of getting off the couch, you treat yourself with a lot of negativity and self-bullying. When you're lazy, you may be by default neglecting yourself. You probably have a lot of vices. You like playing video games, eating sugar, drinking, smoking. Just all those pleasure things are your favorite things. And that's how you have been your entire life life. You don't want to change and you truly enjoy this kind of life. I'm happy for you. When you're burnt out, you start neglecting yourself. You used to go to the gym, meditate, eat healthy. You used to have a sleep routine or skin routine. Not anymore. Again, burnout is about change. A burnout person is a person who likes to spend a lot of time alone because everything takes too much energy. Laziness is a lifestyle. If you're a naturally lazy person, then doing the bare minimum can truly satisfy you. Easy, complacent life doesn't bore you. You actually enjoy it. As I said earlier, burnout can look like depression, and this is probably a topic for another video, but one of the major differences is that burnout is a change that happens gradually over time. It has stages, whereas depression can hit you and it can get pretty dark pretty quickly. Also, depression does not have a reason that you can pinpoint and say, that's why I'm depressed. Usually, if you had a reason, like an event, that would have been sadness and grief, not depression. Burnout, on the other hand, has reasons. And you kind of know those reasons and you knew them all along, but you chose to ignore them for a good amount of time and now your body forces you to pay attention. I mentioned earlier that burnout can look a lot like task paralysis in ADHD people, but there's a difference. Think of task paralysis as your brain hitting a freeze, like when your phone stalls because you have too many apps open. It's frustrating, sure, but it's a temporary glitch. Your ADHD brain sometimes gets so overwhelmed with excitement or dread about tasks in hand that just blocks. For individuals with ADHD, the chronic struggle with task paralysis can lead to increased stress, frustration, and sense of helplessness. Over time, these feelings can accumulate, contributing to burnout. And burnout is the long-term problem, like a phone battery that has been overworked and starts holding less charge. It's what happens when the endless cycle of hyperfocus and task paralysis drains you, not for a little bit, but over time. But here's the good news. Understanding the difference between those two can really change the game for you because task paralysis is your sign to pause and pivot, while burnout is a major red flag that you need to recharge and maybe even rethink your strategy. And burnout is prevalent in people with ADHD for three main reasons. Intensity in engagement. You tend to overdo stuff. Like for example, when you listen to a song that you really like 100 too many times and then you hate it. Yeah, but this is also how you are with work projects and with everything really in life. So you tend to burn out more frequently and quicker because once you are excited about something or really interested, you give it your everything. It's the lack of balance, the all or none behavior, the tendency for extremeness, regulation of attention, contrary to outdated views of ADHD that merely understood as lack of attention. Now we know a little bit better and we know that the core issue is the deficit of regulating your attention. This means people with ADHD struggle to disengage from tasks or interests that capture their attention, making it harder to shift focus when necessary. In simple language, you tend to get obsessed with things. So it is difficult for you to pull yourself out of something before you burn out. Hence, your body eventually has to force you to stop. 
then this is towards addictive behaviors. ADHD is often linked to addictive personality, which isn't limited to substance addiction, but extends to behaviors or activities. This, combined with the challenge of disengaging from obsessive activities, creates a pretty good recipe for burnout. Let me know in the comments if I should make a video on task paralysis and ADHD. Either way, I plan the next video to be on ADHD and productivity, which a little tiny bit depends on how my brain behaves in the next two weeks. Either way, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Thank you.